people welcome back to the channel so a while ago the trailer for kasa sangama came out it's from rishab shetty and that is in itself enough for me to be interested in it but i've already got more than a couple of reminders i was going to do this reaction earlier but uh, in between panipat and tanaji came out in quick succession and i felt i had to make those videos but now that the date for avani sriman narayana trailer has been announced I feel I must do it now or I will not be able to do it at all. But thank you for the reminders. Let's go and watch the trailer for Kasa Sangama. No him. Nanam kate illa. Appa. Kel bangle. ಮರೆದು ಬೇಕು ಹೊಸ ನೆನಪು ಕೂಡಿಡಾಕ ಹೆದರಿ ರೋ ಮನಸ್ಸು ನಡುಕ್ಕಿರೋ ಈ ಕೈಯಿಂದ ಇವನನ್ನು ಕೊಲ್ಲಕ್ಕಾಗಲ್ಲ ತಪ್ಪಿ ಆರೋಗ್ಯ I feel like I should have read something about it before I watched it because for large stretches of the trailer I was a little bit confused about what's going on what's going on there seems to be lots of things happening at the same time and I could not make the link but in the end when it comes up that these are seven different stories seven different directors um and i think seven different dops as well uh, then it all sort of makes sense and uh, it's a shame that i didn't read about it before uh, i could have appreciated the trailer a little bit more if that had happened now knowing that there are seven different directors and there are seven different stories and seven different dops it does not feel like there are seven different movies all the different stories seem to gel very well and the look is fairly consistent although knowing that there are more than one dops you can begin to see the different styles that they have so this story about the little girl the rainbow land one it seems very fairy tale like the story about the old woman apparently lost that's been shot quite documentary like so there are subtle differences between the different stories and you can see that and i can now appreciate having known that there are seven different dops and i did not know that when i started watching it so that's why i was a little bit confused in the trailer itself i think it's quite a hard job to blend all these different stories together and make it seem like this is one trailer for one movie and i think that's been done very well there were at least a couple of places where the transitions were really really clever so here he speaks about a dog and immediately the next cut is for a dog and you can see that in a couple of other places as well so that that's obviously very clever editing to make it seem like one trailer and and bind all of these different stories together from the name my guess is that the stories will overlap somewhere some place during the movie and you can see these commonalities between those stories uh it might be philosophical or it might be an actual thread that ties these stories together but i could be easily wrong about it so i first came across rishab shetty in oli davaru kandante and then after that it was the trailer for bell bottom which is a very creative and intelligently made very well cut trailer it still has less than a million views which is a shame in itself because just the trailer itself is really good the trailer for rishab shetty's bell bottom definitely deserves a lot more views but akshay kumar is quite a commercially minded actor and i dread a little bit what he's going to do with that story anyway we'll have to wait for more announcement from that it might not be a remake of rishab shetty's movie but i think akshay kumar will do well to pick up that story it deserves to be remade it deserves to reach a wider audience if it happens to akshay kumar then so be it coming back to katha sangama i think if you know anything more about the stories or the directors 
please do let me know write it down in the comments below don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends and family until next time bye bye